is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. I want to show you something I think is absolutely adorable. Um, I know I will be using it really soon in one of my journals and I thought I have to stop myself and make another one with you. So this lovely thing is of course an envelope. I will show you an example with my um, journal. Let me just back up the camera. Whoops, back up the camera a tiny bit. There we go. And I'll choose a a page where this whoops where this could be in. Let's say I just need a page, just an example. There. Why not this? Okay. So <clears throat> this envelope is really. I mean, I I adore it, and here's why. So I intend this part will be glued to the journal, like so. See. So this will become part of my page in the journal. I hope you see this, this um, the lighting makes a lot of uh, glare. So let me put something underneath here so you see better. There. So this envelope will be part of the journal. Actually, I will put it in this journal. And you open, you flip it open and now it's a flip out, as you can see. So I, we all love things that flip out of a journal. And when you take this out, which is your journaling card, look, look at it. Now we've all made, I know you might think, well, this is not new. It kind of is to me and I'll explain why. A lot of times when we um, create envelopes with a window, it's usually from an envelope that already had a window, but the window is not see-through on both sides. So this envelope now is, is now a see-through on both sides. And the way to do this was a little tricky for me. I will try and explain the best way I can. And I'll also give you plenty of options to do it uh, your own way. As you can see, I'll show you mine first. Um, so I will just put this back in like so. <clears throat> I'll show you mine and then I will give you options because we don't all have the same crafting tools and I want you to be able to reproduce this, okay? So, um, I decorated mine and this is beautiful, beautiful paper I purchased. Oh my goodness. I love digital papers. Love, love, love it. Um, and look at this quote. I just adore it. I make art to show my soul. I'm listening. And lately, this is me. I need to remind myself this and just do art because I've been putting anyways I'll talk later in the video I've been putting all kinds of pressure on myself producing very little videos I'm kind of stuck and I'm hoping with this video this will be my little another little kickstart if you will <laughs> to get unstuck so <clears throat> I've sewn around this envelope and you'll know why later and then I created this beautiful journaling card I absolutely adore this um, I think this is from my yes this flower is from my papers now they're not released yet um, they will be part of a 20 some page journal um, it'll be a traveler's note um, uh, well a long journal that you call right that size of traveler's notebooks if you will um, those are the papers I'm creating right now with a lot of papers with lines on them that you can print double-sided, um, things to fussy cut, um, pockets, tags, and look at these tags. Look at them. They are absolutely gorgeous. You have all kinds. You'll have tags and tabs as well. Uh, as you can see, I already used one. <laughs> Um, I'm going to release this this uh, paper as soon as I can. I'm almost done. I want to make sure the colors come out right. And um, yeah, so that's coming soon. And the flower is in there. Um, yeah, so then I just decorated this beautiful envelope. I actually have started another one because I love this process so much. But I stopped myself before I finished and I decided to try, oops, uh, try and uh, something fell on the floor here, <laughs> to try and show you how I did that. So how about we just get right to it. So first you need, of course, an envelope. Whatever size you choose is fine. You just have to adjust your own measurements. Uh, <clears throat> so I have these craft envelopes. So I'm going to use them. I really love, of course, you know, I love the vintage look and the craft envelopes are perfect for that 
So what I did was I measured half an inch from the, the uh, let me get closer now, from the absolute edge. So I'm going to make little lines here so I can line up really good, just like that. Okay. And then from each side of the envelope, I will measure one and a quarter that seems to be a size that i really like that's the size i did on both of the other envelopes so one and a quarter from each um end and then you see where all the paper meets so from the very point here if you will i measure an inch and i make my line and there you go. So I don't know if you can see those. Yes, you do. This, this, this. I could have made another one here, but um, and yeah. And then I'm going to to um, make my rectangle. So I will put my ruler back here like that, and I'm going to trace my line. So I start at one and a quarter right here. Whoops. Uh, like so. And yeah, that's perfect. And then just so I can see a little better. So hold on. So just just so I don't lose sight of where it is that I'm trying to cut that's about it let me see a little short that's fine okay so same thing one and a quarter here and I go across up to yep yeah, there you go right about here perfect and then we make the other line here okay good so now we cut so you'll need of course a knife like this and we cut so now make sure you ex you have enough pressure when you cut so that it goes through um, both layers of your envelope so I will try and do my best mm. Hold on, I'm a little too... Yeah, okay, that's good. Wow. <clears throat> Be very careful. These knives do not forgive. They're absolutely terrible. Very useful, but oh my God, you don't want it to go sideways on you. <laughs> I hope I went through. Yeah, it's, I think I did. Worst case, I can always go back since I have lines and a ruler, but still fun not to have to if we don't have to. There you go. And here. Like so. And the last cut, I hope. We'll see. Um, there you go. Let's see if I can pop that window out. Mm. There's a few places it didn't go through perfectly. That's okay. I can do that. Just gonna put my ruler back in place and make sure. Okay, and where else? Maybe here, a tiny bit. Still won't go. Maybe I'll do it from the other side. Okay. There we go. And a oh, tiny bit here. That's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll tell you what, I mean, you want it as straight as you, you know, possibly can. And this, I'll, I'll use my scissors to just trim this. But other than that, it's fine. 
Oops, maybe this way will be easier. There. Okay. So, I will just erase um, some of the lines I've left here. There you go. Although it doesn't matter because I'm covering the... Um, um, the frame I, I like it um, as you can see here I covered the frame all around with beautiful paper it could have also been washi tape I just decided to go with this type of paper and on the other one I did not but I did ink the edges of the window so before you do anything else just make sure that if you feel you will not be covering this window like I intend on doing then at least maybe um, make sure that you ink the edges so you don't say oh goodness now I can't everything's glued and sewed together <laughs> okay so the next step is to use packaging now of course you could decide to use vellum it would be pretty much the same principle as this except you wouldn't have full uh, transparency clearly but it doesn't matter it would still work um, and I'm using packaging like this one today so the idea is, first of all, I will get rid of this little part here because I will not need it. So I will cut this out. Okay. The idea is to come as close to the edge as you can, but leave some space. Well, not as close as you can, clearly, but enough so that it goes in easily but it's still pretty close to the edge now i can see i didn't cut in a very straight line i wonder if i can i don't know if it'll work in this or if it'll just bend the plastic but let me give it a try no it worked now i have a straight line much better okay so i have to cut here and it seems my next cut should be around here I want it to slide in easily but I still want it to be pretty close to the edge and you'll understand why in a second second uh, where's the cut I just did oh, right here perfect okay so I will cut here actually uh, since I'm going to cut anyways I might as well measure right away so you don't want it to come out of the entrance of your envelope clearly so like this and I will cut it I don't know if I can make some sort of a mark but I will cut it right here yeah I can kind of see it you can kind of see that do whatever whatever works for you clearly I'm gonna use my other paper cutter I'm not very good at cutting straight lines and I really don't want to ruin this piece of packaging so I will just use this beautiful okay so now we have the perfect size but we will test it and now of course it's double right because there are two sides to our envelope and do not split the middle because it will just cause problems for you because you need to slide it in make sure that the open part is up here you slide it in wiggle wiggle here you might have to help it a tiny bit so it goes in between this little you know area right here but once you're in you are in and now look at that isn't this just absolutely adorable love it so now the next step and here's what I will I will give you many um, options okay so I personally will go so around my envelope and then I'll come back and I'll explain a few things for you to understand how to finish this so everything stays put okay okay so mine is all sewn up and the thing I wanted to say is if you don't have a sewing machine you don't have to have a sewing machine because just imagine that this is your this is your envelope and you go, you ha You could make yourself a straight line. No, that's not straight, but a straight line. <laughs> and you could staple 
along this line and it would just look fabulous right there's nothing wrong with this it, it just gives another look it adds metal to your um, to your creation I love to add metal whenever I can as well that's a solution another solution and then we'll move on to more specific about this because this is not done uh, believe me <laughs> you could also punch a series of hole again all lined up and you could sew um, or you can sew you know out in out in like this or you could sew in and around around the edge that's also another solution there's always glue but in this case I find it very difficult the only way I see you could use glue without gluing all the inside as well would be to open up the envelope which I don't feel good enough to do um, what you could do is once you punch your window you could deconstruct this envelope and open it in order to stick the plastic in I never tried it I don't intend on trying it either I'm gonna to stick to this method and like I said to secure your plastic on each side and on the bottom I would use one of the methods I just showed you now this seems like it's done but it isn't because let's pretend this is our journaling card well it's difficult because it's it's getting stopped by see the film the plastic film it's not attached to anything see my fingers are coming out um, we don't want that so now we have to secure the plastic film on the top and that's where it becomes a tiny bit tricky I'm not gonna lie my first uh, go-to is always this but that's also difficult because the envelope can stick to this the double-sided tape before you're even aligned I will do it for what's close to the window but then I will go ahead with my glue for the rest and I'll show you how so I will use some double-sided tape and because I can see you see how I see the other part of the envelope I can align myself on this side with it because you know I know that I'm I'm not going over the edge where the glue will show see no glue because I can see where I'm um, applying this okay so I will do the sides as well where's the beginning of this okay so just going to mm, this might be tricky I might go with glue for this actually okay so I paused my voice because I want to explain something to you now I'm showing you this method of gluing the plastic film inside the pocket in case um, you decide not to decorate the edge around the envelope window um, as you saw in the first one I showed you one side I decorated around the edge and the other I, I just simply chose not to and instead I just inked the edge of the window so if you plan on only inking the edge of the window this method of course is the best but if you plan on decorating around the edge of the window you don't have to go through all this this was just another fancy way of showing you how to put a window through uh, both sides of an envelope but if you put your plastic film just a tiny bit uh, bigger than your window and you put the plastic film on top of your envelope and then decorate the edge to hide that then you're good to go and you can do that on both sides and it will be a lot less, a lot less complicated than what I'm showing you right now I just wanted to let you know okay back to it So now I do recommend that you have you know maybe a bottle with a very fine tip to get inside here if not maybe you can put glue on a on a piece of paper like that lift like this is too thick but you know just to show you something like that and you can easily put glue here 
lift lift it up and just actually that works pretty fine <laughs> i had not tried this but i like it also i would prepare myself uh some paper towels uh just wet it a tiny bit if the glue seeps out you won't wet the whole envelope but you'll be able to clean the film the plastic film okay and you know what i'm gonna keep doing it with this i just need a thicker one to have more control i like that i didn't do that the first time i just wanted to show you another way to go around not having a, a bottle but this is actually pretty good um i'll leave it like that i like it oh my god this is much simpler actually you should have seen me struggle the first time oh this is amazing yeah and you can press gently with your finger here to make sure the glue stays oh my goodness <gasps> Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just discovered this while I was trying to give you a trick. Wow, this is perfect. Look at this. You slide it in and you know you're applying glue everywhere. And then you close it and like I said, prepare yourself with a piece of paper towel just to clean your little window. Perfect, oh my gosh, okay. Well, it's nice to know I discovered trick while I'm trying to show you things. Wow. Well, instead of the double-sided tape, you can go with this all around. This is much simpler. <laughs> because the first time I went with my glue bottle, which is okay, but between you and I, it does, um, it does add sometimes a little more glue than you want. Um... And then you're worried your envelope will be stuck on the inside, right? But, oh my gosh. Oh, you learn something every day. Or at least you hope. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so happy I just discovered this. Isn't it weird? I've been crafting for a while now. Well, my whole life, but on YouTube for over two years. And I'm just discovering this now? <laughs> okay some of you must be thinking my gosh she just discovered that I've been doing this for years <laughs> yes I know <laughs> but I'm very amazed right now I'm very happy okay well this is going to sim simplify the inside a lot <laughs> because I was going to say uh, let me, I hope you're gonna be able to see you see the plastic film uh, let me see if I can find something to lift it up for you to see. Something, something, something. Okay, like this. Okay, do you see? It's Every time I put something, this is going to hook on all of this beautiful plastic film that is not glued yet. So now that I have this trick, I, I went with my glue bottle. So, you, you know, you can still do that. You just have to make sure you lift that part of the plastic like that. And then just put your bottle in that, like so. I hope you can see, yeah. And just put some glue everywhere, like so. And then press, but then hurry up and open to make sure that the glue didn't, see, you see the white glue? That it didn't come out anywhere over the plastic because then of course your whole envelope will be glued together and you don't want that okay so now we have to do the same on um this side here this side okay so i i i'll do it again with my bottle just because i have it in my hand but clearly i could i could do it with this and just you know but for around the window that piece of paper is wonderful so I will put my glue bottle, ah, the nozzle between the plastic. You see that? I'm trying to, it's not easy. There, you see? So I will start here and put some glue. Oops, that's close to the edge. See, now that might seep through. So I will have to, um, I will press to spread it and then I'll go right back in and make sure 
that it hasn't come oh that was close right here see how close to the edge yeah it's okay it hasn't so it should be good now the only part here now for this is to wait <laughs> to wait for it to dry but i think other than that we're in good shape okay so we are 25 minutes in i wanted you to see how to build this window because it might seem easy at first because we like i said we all well maybe i said it or maybe i didn't but we all made or tried to make um windows in a tag or and just like a, a card or you know um even um specimen cards but that's easy because a specimen card is you punch a hole you know in both sides of paper you put your plastic on each piece and you glue the pieces together where this envelope is already stuck together on three sides right so that's the way i found to do it and i hope i've explained well enough for you to be able to reproduce this because it's it's so much fun i mean seriously i can't wait to finish de decorating this one and i can't wait to fit like this this i'm going to put in my journal i'm so proud of it it looks amazing you know and i decorated the inside flap of course because this one is glued to the journal right and then look at this this is just so gorgeous i love that when you take it out you see through so i think it's worth it right for the effort so i hope you've enjoyed this video i will not leave you right now i will just go in silent mode with music so that you can enjoy the process of me decorating this envelope um and of course it will be like i said fast forward with music but before i let you go i want to say that um i want to say well thank you for watching I will also put my new uh, paper collection out very, very soon. I'm hoping in the next few days following this video, depending on when I release this video. Um, and in the meantime, I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I do hope wherever you are in the world that you are happy, healthy, and safe. Okay? And I really do mean that. And as usual, I say thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. I will now put the music and please enjoy the rest of this video.